and welcome back to Do Network. I'm Dr. L. Previously, we discussed on turning that sofa of yours from drab to fat. And I gave you some step-by-step -step instructions on just how to do that by using either a sofa cover or a throw blanket and of course pillows. And I showed you ways on how to use the pillows by mixing and matching different shapes, heights, colors, as well as materials, but keeping some consistency in there so that it doesn't look too tacky. I also gave you ideas and tips on how to surround your sofa with such items as either a floor lamp or a table lamp, which would mean you would need a side table, and you can use either one or two, such as this one over here, and different materials. This one happens to be glass. And you can place any number of items on these, such as candles, pictures of your loved ones, accomplishments such as degrees, or anything that you would like. Your remote controls and drinks can go on there. And the wall as well, if you want to add a clock or a big canvas photo. So today, I wanna to show you how else to spruce up that couch. Today, what we'll do is focus more specifically on what goes onto the floor or in front of you? For example, you don't want it to look too bare. So what I selected was an area rug, another fun, simple, yet very chic way to spruce up that sofa. Watch this. I have this beautiful sort of shag area rug. And these area rugs come in all sorts of colors, sizes, and shapes. Again, it depends on your needs and purposes. So you wanna place your area rug, and I have this rectangular shaped area rug. Again, it's in a cotton sort of shag material, and you'll notice it's white, which goes with the white or cream color of the pillows, again, to create some consistency. So you place that right into, right onto the floor in front of your sofa. Make sure that it's lined up pretty well. Just like that. And once you have it where you want it, then you can start to place whatever you want on top of it. And in just a moment, I will show you exactly what to do and place onto your area rug. And ta-da! <laughs> so what we had just done was place a three-piece ottoman set on top of this white shag rug. And this ottoman set, get this, and you can find it anywhere, it serves as seating, storage, as well as a tabletop to serve your meals, your drinks, <laughs> or if you happen to be hosting a party, you can sit the product or items right on top of it. Let me show you. All you do is just flip this over. So on this side, you have this very soft, again, micro suede material again, the same as the couch here. On the top side, and check this out on the other side of it, is this tabletop side. How fabulous is that? So again, you can place any number of items on here. So it has a large rectangular, very deep inside to store all of your books and other things that you might not want your company to see or that you might not want to see either. And on this side, again, you can just place all of your other items. Now, if you happen to want to just use it on its top side, you can do that, whether it's for seating or for serving, either way. You can add a little tray top on the top of it if you like. And if I happen to have guests, they can sit on either of these ottomans and I place them on both sides, again, to add scale and to fill out the sofa more. And it's directly in front of the sofa so that if you need to, for example, reach 
to grab something, it's not too far away and it's not out of arm's length. So you win four ways. You have storage, seating, serving, and it looks fabulous. You can't go wrong with that. So I hope that you have enjoyed these tips and that you will share some of your ideas and tips and even photos with us on how you have made your sofa or your coffee table, if you happen not to use the traditional kind, which are great, fab. And we just might feature them here. So again, remember to subscribe to us and tell us what you're doing and what else that we can do together. Until next time, ciao.